an interesting show today. We literally had our so Mark, you know Mark, the guy that um rug pull surge. Uh, so he had a live AMA trying to explain him to uh, trying to explain himself to everybody about what the fuck really happened, you know. And well, I'm over here listening. I kind of actually just condensing the. Uh, that's like a two-hour video. I kind of condense everything into like 20 minutes, like the important stuff. You know what I mean? Try not to like bore you guys. So technically, I got all the top questions, top answers, and everything that went down uh, condensed into like 20 minutes and like my reaction to it, you know? And then whatever you guys think, I'll at least play the video. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't start tripping because obviously, I'm, I'm going to go to Safe Moon Joe real quick and, and, you know, play his stuff real quick. But I think I got like the top ten questions, actually. Um, so this this is what we got coming up, just so you know. Um, so when Mark heard of what was happening, uh, he tries to kind of explain himself and like how they try to tell everybody that the shit was going down. How supposedly, um, when they found out that there was a vulnerability. Uh, how soon they told everybody and how soon the attack happened. And pretty much you, you'll, you'll hear that part. And then also you'll hear him just blame the hacker. How he said that technically the only person to blame is the hacker. Which technically, I mean, I don't know what you guys believe. Which technically to me is kind of like, well, I mean, I don't know. But I am from Chicago, man, you know, so to me, that's him. He, he's just trying to blame his character, you know, that's fine with me. Uh, it's like, uh, okay, well, well, we'll keep the analogies away for a little bit. But uh, yeah, all right here, boom, I wrote it all down, actually. Uh, says only the hacker is to blame. Uh, how he says that technically we still believe him and you still buy into his projects that he's going to Create a little charity to, to to pay back the people we slime, supposedly, allegedly, allegedly. Okay, uh, and then they had a question. Uh, a guy called it. Well, it was one of the questions, and he was saying that technically, even though, um, you'll see, you'll see, uh, that supposedly Mark is responsible since he created the the uh, the app. <clears throat> and then actually, um, and then he starts talking about that guy Maxine. And then he starts blaming Maxine. We got that coming up. Uh, someone asked him to release the questions, the whole conversation, not just snippets here and there from the community. You know how someone, uh, well, I think it was Crypto Atlas, he, he uploaded the conversation. Well, not, I don't know if it was the whole conversation, but he did upload a lot of the conversation where uh, they make it look like... Uh, Maxine, which is a new character that supposedly just created a Twitter account, supposedly, possibly the same day, and uh, supposedly that guy wrote a uh, Mark. So if Mark created that account, he would have to have used the VPN, obviously, uh, to you know kind of throw his scent off a little bit, create an account, message himself, answer to himself. Uh, there's a chance that that dude, I don't know who this, uh, there's another guy in this chat and his name is, uh, Serge Capitalist. And supposedly people are saying that he might be in on it too. Cause man, that guy is so defensive. He like, he, he's, you'll see someone try to ask him a question real quick and boom, right away. The guy in the face, hey, hey, whoa, 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 baby. You don't got to answer that. I'm like, what the hell? You don't got to answer that. It has something to do about Safe Moon and when he created it. If he created it during, uh, during his time with Safe Moon, or like after his time, or I don't, I don't know, but uh, yeah, very defensive, very defensive. He was, the guy was just wondering if he created Surge because he didn't have enough work, you know. It, it, it's like if some guy is paying you to develop a machine, and you develop another machine in the meantime. So either you didn't have no work to do, or you kind of plan to do that other machine real quick and. Put the little back door and you know what I mean? But you, you'll see. And then um, he also says that the conversation might be edited. So that don't believe uh, the screenshots that Maxine has. That the conversation might be edited. And then uh, when someone asked him if he can uh, play the whole thing back. Uh, he said that 
Only the FBI or Discord would have, or somebody with a subpoena would be able to retrieve the messages. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, my, uh, if, if, I don't know. I feel like if, if, if you, if you was innocent, hell yeah, here's every day. Check it out, baby. Everything, everything, baby, everything. But he's trying to, uh, get behind the lawyer, which I don't blame him. And when did the, when did he create search friend lawyers rubs? Okay. Effectively communicate this to everyone else and how to remove people from the apparent risk. And clearly the response did not go as planned. And I, I really need to get this out now. That there is no surge team. There is no active leadership. We are a community project and there has never been an owner to surge. And there has never been one person with more control over another. That has been the way Surge has worked since its inception. Look, the only person, the person truly liable for the hack that took place Monday was the attacker himself. Anyone in the world could have noticed the vulnerability, made a post warning people about the vulnerability, encouraged people He's gonna talk about or lost money during people the back. attack. All my current and future developments will have something built inside of them to donate to this charitable fund. And I encourage any developers or community members to do the same. We really cannot do this alone. Yeah, I wouldn't put any more money into his shit right there. He's going to fucking rug pull you again. He's uh, trying to do a double whammy. Double whammy. Hey, the first one wasn't good enough. Honestly, um, I kept checking the BNB balance for Surge. And it kind of hovered around, you know, five to six million um, for probably like a week. So he probably figured that's as much as he's going to be able to get, you know? So he he went with that number, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, supposedly they're going to create um, a charity fund so they, they can pay everybody back. Okay. Yeah, right. I, honestly, I will not put any money. I, that's why I only buy safe one, honestly. It, it, it might be down, but at least it's safe. And if we band together again, I know for a fact we can if put we all this behind together us again. And, focus our, yeah, right. and focus our sights Look at the truly first question, on changing okay? DeFi, as we started to do at the beginning. For not auditing it, whatever it might be. But I believe that every person who invested, that you're fully responsible. I lost $770, and we're all fully accountable and responsible for what we chose to invest. And that we need to take that ownership. You need to be an adult. Yes, Mark's responsible, I believe, for what happened um, for for having that flaw in the contract, he didn't do it intentionally. But you all are responsible for the investment you need yeah, I'm sure made, and you need to take ownership of it and be an adult. And that's just all I have to say. So, be an adult, sir. Thanks, crypto. All right, let's bring someone else up. Introduction to that questionable character, Maxine. All right, to Max Sense. And what were those conversations? What do you what do you feel about that? What I think people want to know more about Max Sense. We've heard about him and we've heard he kind of alerted you to this possible yes. possible uh, problem here. Okay. Um, in the spirit of not defaming anyone, I'm not going to cast blame on anyone until we know without a doubt that it was them. So I, I, I can't say he anything as to who that it wasn't them, I think it is or if it is a person them. or not. But the way that conversation went was he messaged me asking about well, informing me of a potential exploit. I reviewed it, uh, did a bunch of math. We, I tried speaking with him, and he said that he uh, would do it himself and keep a percentage of everyone's BNB. And that was did not sit well with me. Um, even though I have just as much power as anyone Man, else, I would have the, the last thing right I wanted there, was everyone's BNB in the hands right of there. a stranger. And even though that's what happened anyway, that's what I was trying to avoid. So I declined that and went to work trying to see if what he brought up to me was real or not. Uh, I forked the surge contract and did a bunch of tests on it and realized it was possible. And at, at a later date, um, as we were trying to think of how the hell we could save everyone, he comes back to me um, saying that his math was wrong and that there was nothing to worry about and that there was no exploit whatsoever. Um, that's when I knew I had to... Uh, we, would need to we would need to run that by... The community's legal counsel. He wants to release uh, the questions. We would need to. We would need to run that by the community's legal counsel to make sure that they're comfortable with releasing this that statement. The important thing to remember is that, that Discord Discord communications are subject to being editable, um, as well as um, as well as deleted specific statements. And so, um, without having the true logs from Discord themselves, 
Um, it would be difficult to get a full representation well, of the entire one. conversation. Yeah, because, uh, sorry to disturb you. Uh, the last C three days we saw factions of discussions. And from what Mark is saying just now that uh, the guy told him, yeah, don't worry, it's no exploit. I never saw it in those discussions. And I think the whole community didn't see those things. What I saw what that was that the guy just yeah, I'm surprised they told him there's an exploit. It, hey, those guys you got to remember them. again that these conversations are subject to being editable. Um, and so any screenshots that you may have seen from any third party uh, might not have been representative of the actual conversation. And may have been modified yeah, but, versions uh, of that conversation. We, yes. And but, so Mark, uh, Mark Mark is actively Mark is actively discussing the p potential for being able to release that um, that conversation and the couple of screenshots that he was able to capture of that conversation. But he's not able to until he has a, a approval from from the community's legal counsel. He can't do so. As well as the fact that um, you know the only true representation of that conversation again would be through discord themselves which would need to be subpoenaed and would require you know something like the fbi's intervention to be able to do that due to privacy concerns but of course we're taking every av action as a community to be able to make sure that we the can, not even we can dogs. Why, why hopefully we track this? down you know who is responsible for this but at the end of the day um any involvement with mark and trying to identify who may or may not have committed like this to be uh, done Jenkins as case. again a community volunteer like the rest he's, of us he's, he's fixing the clock yeah um just ju just for further um i know a lot of the uh conversations between us were posted by him himself and hey, I, I did see to this one, one where he interrupts where potential you notified safe man while you were employed there like did you create it and then tell them or did you tell them and then create it um i created it uh, i don't think that, that question is relevant to today's conversation oh um the time, the timing, and, and and whether or not Mark uh, wrote a contract while a 1099 contractor with a third party token has no bearing on, on it. Is there a specific question or, or something that you're trying to get to? Yeah, I was just curious about if he notified search or not. No, I can move on to the next next question. Yeah, I, I just I don't think that. So that's pretty much um, all the main things that kind of happened, and then the guy logged off. Uh, I don't know who Surge Capitalist is, but he kind of sounded like his lawyer. I'm um, not sure what's going on over there. And then, yeah. So that's what's going on. That's a quick recap. I just tried to do a quick recap so that, you know, you kind of know what's going on without having to watch the whole thing. But supposedly, um, he's going to have another live AMA. I don't know when. And hopefully he answers hard questions. But honestly, uh, me personally, I would not buy anything that the guy's selling, man. Honestly. Oh, no. And, yep, that's it. I'm out of here, guys.